Hey everybody, when I took the Ancestry.com DNA test and then my dad took the Ancestry.com DNA test, one thing that we had heard passed down from stories is that on his side of the family, his mother's side, that there was Native American ancestry. And when we got our results back, um, neither of our results had that Native American ancestry present. So doing some research, I thought this would help explain to you guys why you might not be seeing that Native American ancestry in your makeup or in your DNA makeup. So the important thing to realize is you receive 50% of your chromosomes or your DNA from each parent. So 50% from my mother's side, 50% from my father's side, and it's roughly 50%. It can vary based on genetic traits but a good, a good estimate is 50%. So if we go back a generation to my grandparents, that means that I received 25% of my gen genetic makeup from each grandparent. So on my father's side, 25% from his father, 25% from his mother, that equals um, the 50% that I received combined from my father's side. Same thing on my mother's side. Now, if we go back another generation to great-grandparents, then that drops down to 12.5%. So you can just do the math of 50 divided by 2, that was 25. 25 divided by 2, that's 12.5%. So you can see as we go back in the tree and following your gene genealogy, um, the amount of genetic makeup you'll receive from each of your ancestors, especially when we get to great-great-grandparents uh, or great-great-great-grandparents greatly decreases. So let's go back another generation. So this would be our two times great-grandparents. That bumps down to like 6.25%, and then we can keep following this out. Uh, our third time great-grandparents would jump down to about 3%. And then if we were to go one more generation back to our fourth time great-grandparents, that would be about 1% that we would receive from each of those people for our genetic makeup. So if you're not seeing Native American ancestry, it could be that you did not receive those traits from those people far back where it's maybe... 3% or 1% or going even farther back different than that. So a couple are smaller than that. So a couple things you can do. One is you can have your older relatives tested. So in this case, I could have my grandmother tested and we could see if maybe some of the Native American ancestry appears in her test. Other things I could try or... Um, my father could try would be to have siblings also take the test. So just because the genetic makeup wasn't passed down to him doesn't mean that it wasn't passed down to some of his siblings. So I hope that kind of gives you guys a brief overview of why you might not be seeing ancestry or Native American ancestry in your uh, percentage makeup just kind of a quick rough cut of why you might not see. There's other factors involved, but hopefully that will give you guys some clues and some good um, suggestions on where to go from there. If, in fact, you want to follow the paper trail, I'll include a link to a couple guides by FamilySearch and Ancestry.com that they did for um, following the Native American paper trail. So I hope that helps in... You guys will find some more information or it helps open some doors for you with your DNA research.